Hello and welcome to this video where I talk about the difference I find between shooting RAW and shooting JPEG. So I've got an image here that I really like but the problem is it's massively overexposed. I have developed this image and I find I do like it. I like the composition, I like the fact that certain parts are in focus and sharp but unfortunately when I've taken the image I've massively overexposed it. I normally shoot in aperture priority and clearly something's just gone wrong. Now this is the image in RAW and this is the image in JPEG. So I'm going to go and develop this in the develop module of Lightroom. So this was shot with a 5D and a 50mm lens and I can very quickly get things where I want. Now I want you to pay particular attention to this histogram. I'm just going to reset it and I've been quite lucky because if I put the clipping on you can see I've only clipped certain parts of it. You can see the majority of my image is to the right and a lot of my image is very close to being pure white. But with RAW I can take that down so I'm going to drop the exposure. I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to drop those blacks a bit and I'm just going to increase the shadows. So while I have made an error on this image if we look at the eyes, the eyes are quite sharp unfortunately that one's sharper than that one but it's still a nice image and the image is going to be good for showing what I mean. So here's the raw image and that's okay and I'm quite happy with it. There's obviously some more adjustments I can do but so far I'm quite happy with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy those settings. I'm going to check all and I'm going to copy them. And you can see the JPEG version looks very similar to the other one. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to paste those settings. Paste settings. So both should have identical settings. Let's have a look at them. Something's gone wrong doing exactly the same to the JPEG as with the RAW. It just doesn't look right. It looks a bit sort of grey. Let's have a look in the develop module. So I can't really tell you what's gone wrong, but the same settings have been applied. And it just doesn't seem as good. The colours don't seem as good compared to the RAW. The RAW certainly has more punch and doesn't have this sort of grey cast to it that we get with the JPEG. So I think the problem comes from when you adjust JPEG images, you can't adjust them as much as RAW. Now I'm not a technical expert here. But I know with RAW I can do a lot more adjusting and in this case doing the adjusting on the RAW image has actually saved my image because it's a nice image and I like it and there's just a few things I need to do to be really happy with it. And clearly like I said I'd made several mistakes, I'd made a mistake when shooting it don't know whether I'd accidentally bumped the exposure compensation or the camera had just made a metering error but this is certainly an image that is saved by the fact I shot it in RAW. Had I shot it in JPEG I don't think I'd be able to use this image because I'd get that horrible sort of grey colour to it. So I'm just going to tidy up the image. So there it is. So let's compare that to the original. Here we've got the JPEG, here we've got the RAW, the JPEG is going to serve as the comparison image. So forgetting the cropping and the vignetting and other things, it is possible to show that I can save the image just by shooting in RAW. And I always shoot in RAW and convert to JPEG later, whether that's in camera or using software. I just find it gives you so much more flexibility. Not that I'm knocking people who shoot in JPEG or the ability to shoot in JPEG. I just find RAW gives you so much more flexibility. And in this case, shooting RAW saved the image completely. So that was just a quick video. I'm talking about the difference between shooting JPEG and shooting RAW. Do check out my other videos and hopefully there'll be some more videos coming soon. Thank you. Goodbye.